Guys, markets are down. Markets are down, man. So let's talk about what's been going on for the past week, guys. And if you look at the past week, we're looking right now at a triple leverage ETF that follows the NASDAQ. The 100 biggest companies in the NASDAQ that do not include financial companies. So no banks are included in this ETF. Um, this is a very, very interesting um, stock to look at because it follows the overall NASDAQ. And you can see that it is down 23% for the whole week. And it's currently trading at $26, guys. It was at a high of $34 just seven days ago. Seven days ago, which is a 40% a decline almost. Huge, guys. The market has been going down and everyone is fearing the next CPI report. That's what's going on. The next CPI report, guys, and the next Fed meeting, which are coming up in the next few days. I think the next CPI report is around uh, September 10th. I'm not 100% sure about this date. But the market has been selling off for the past week, guys. It's been a full week, and I'm starting to rebuy in, guys. I'm starting to rebuy in. It does not mean that the market will not keep going lower. We don't have any. Everyone's waiting for this news, guys, this CPI report, and it's not going to be for another 10 days. So the market could keep drifting down. But at this point, if we look at some of these companies, guys, we have Matterport back down to 430. I mean, a week ago, guys, it was Matterport, not even a month ago, guys, was up at 740 with the July rally, guys. And it's just been this whole month has been kind of bad. NVIDIA, guys, is at $134 currently. This morning it was 147. It still went down. 134. I just bought a little more, guys. I bought a little bit more Nvidia this morning. Um, I bought a little bit of AMD, guys, around $80. It went back down lower. But I'm gonna show you guys this. Just bought some. Just $200 I added. $82. See, and it's much lower right now. $79. Very good buying price. Very, very good buying price. Um everything and the, the big boys guys it's going to be time to buy the big boys i mean apple's going down paypal guys paypal 90 dollars a share very good buy right now shopify i added a little bit of shopify guys 30 bucks 30 bucks let's look at the ultimate guys for a year down 80 percent it was at 176 dollars currently trading at 30 bucks i bought a little bit of shopify i just bought some palantir just did at 730 Two. I just bought it, bought it right before turning the video on. I just added 150 bucks. Bought at 732. These are just so low, guys. So so low. Shopify, Tesla, guys. Tesla. I will not be adding any more Tesla unless because I have a really massive position on Tesla and I'm trying to diversify my portfolio, guys. But 255 average cost. If it goes below our average cost, that's when I will start adding on Tesla. But otherwise, I will not add anything on Tesla. Apple guys, let's take a look at Apple trading at 155. Finally, it's drifting back down. Apple man is just doesn't go down. High of 176, we're still 155. That's it's barely down, man. Barely down from its ultimate high. The very impressive company, man. Very impressive. Meta's back down today a little bit. Snapchat guys, Snapchat. This was to, supposed to be a short trade for me because I don't believe on the long term on Snapchat, but my average cost was 1050. I scored it on a really big dip. So we're actually up, but I do have 3000 on it. Quite a big position where I'm not trying to hold such a big position on Snapchat at all. But it's currently trading at 11 and I could see a good little 20, 30% upside easily happening. If not more really, if not more. Um, Amazon guys, Amazon 124. If you're trying to get into Amazon, right now, guys, got a really amazing buying price. Now, Amazon has hit lower lows, and it's still, I mean, it could go down to 100, you see 107, 102 even. Yeah, 102, even even hit 101. But 124, not bad. I will not buy Amazon unless it goes lower, much lower. Microsoft, let's look at Microsoft, a big boy, man. Microsoft 256, my average 264 very good company to get into very big company that's a big boy that i might add a little more if it drifts down a little bit lower i will definitely be adding some more microsoft um if you're not trying to take big big risk disney same thing disney 110 i started buying some of these uh stocks guys when the rally happened when everything was coming back up but and i was hoping things would drift back down one more time which they are they are which this upcoming cpi report um, 
we're about to hit new lows, guys. I mean, we're getting really close to the to the lows that we were at on some of these big companies. Let's look at Disney. It was at 90. So it could still go down quite a bit. It could still go down to 20%. So I'm waiting to add some more. I'm starting to add more, but I don't want to go all in because I feel like if stocks go down some more, guys, we got some really good buying opportunity that are gonna happen. Really, really good buying opportunity. So anyways, we're gonna keep this fairly short. I'm not buying some more cryptos unless cryptos go down, but Bitcoin is currently trading under 20,000, which is a crazy buying, crazy good buying price for Bitcoin if you believe in it. Um, I'm kinda all about the big companies right now, just because they're safer. We don't know what's gonna happen really, and that's when you want to buy the big companies on these big massive dips, guys. When things are crashing, companies that you know when the when everything is going to recover, they're not going anywhere, guys. They're solid companies. They're going to keep growing, and they will hit much higher highs than previously, because that's what they always do. Always, always. If you take some of these companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple, they always hit higher highs because they're not going anywhere. They'll be here in thirty in ten years from now. Maybe, I'm not gonna say 30 years because you never know what could happen in 30 years, but that's why you invest in those companies. Anyways, guys, even Bitcoin, 19,000, it's below 20. Amazing buying price for Bitcoin. Let's look at your theorem, 1,500. It goes below 1,500, that's when I'll start adding on your theorem, below 1,500. Um, Bitcoin, 19,000, it's a buy. I would rather buy your theorem, but Bitcoin at 19,000, it's a buy, man. It's a buy if you believe in the coin. Having a future. Guys, that's it for today. Let's keep it short. Let's see what happens in the next co coming up days. Let's see what, how tomorrow finishes. Let's see if tomorrow finishes with a red day. It's very possible. Or if we start, go, the trend starts going back down the other way. Um, what a roller coaster, man. What a roller coaster. Let's keep an eye out. And guys, be ready for that potential. You never know because if, it, if we get a bad CPI report, it's going to crash. That's when you need to have cash. So make sure you have cash in hand by the CPI report. I would not have zero cash ready put aside for the CPI report. Have cash in hand. It's important. It's important because we don't know. We're not guaranteed what's going to happen on this meeting. Anyways, subscribe to the channel. Next update to, uh, in a few days. Probably this weekend. We're going to let tomorrow happen. And then I'll do an update Saturday because I'll have more time, guys, to make a video. Put something good together. This is really quick because i got to get back to work. Um, I'm out. Happy investing, guys.